Algebra 1, 12.7b, Combined Variation. Okay, all throughout these last few videos, you have to have watched the previous video so that you don't get confused. And there's a link in this video's description to get to them. You need to understand direct, inverse, and joint variation before you can watch this one, okay? So an equation in the form z equals kx divided by y, where k is not a zero, and expresses combined variation. The x value will vary directly as y, but inversely as x. This is a combination of direct variation and inverse variation. That's why it's called combined variation, okay? We can find an equation of combined variation where a varies directly as b and inversely as c. So a equals k times b divided by c, or we can say it as a equals k times b over c. Either way is all right. One set of values is going to be a equals 4, b equals 12, and c equals 9. We can find a when b equals 7 and c equals 3 by finding the value of k. So here we have our equation, 4 equals k times 12 over 9. That's for this first set of values. And when we multiply both sides by the reciprocal of 12 over 9 as 9 twelfths on each side, this becomes a 1, doesn't it? 12 times 9 over 9 times 12 cancels out as a 1. And we end up with just k on this side, see? And on this side, we get 36 over 12, which is a 3. So now we know the value of k is a 3. We can use that to solve for a for our second set of values for a when b is 7 and c is 3. We plug those into the equation, and we get a equals 3 times 7 over 3. That means a equals 21 over 3, so a equals 7. See? I was using direct and inverse variation, all right? This one's going to be a little bit more fun, and you're going to be able to do this to yourself. Body mass index, it's BMI, is used by doctors to determine a person's fatness or thinness. A BMI from 19 to 25 is good. That's considered healthy. And BMI varies directly as a person's weight in pounds and varies inversely as the square of the person's height in inches. So a person who weighs 118 pounds and is 64 inches tall is going to have a BMI of 20. We round it to the nearest whole number. We don't use decimals. But what is the BMI of a person who weighs 165 pounds and is 70 inches tall? So we're going to use this information to help us solve this one. We'll find the constant. So B is going to be the BMI. Our K, of course, is going to be the constant of variation. The W is the weight, and the H is the height. And remember, the height has to be squared, okay? So we've got B equals K times W divided by H squared. So using this information, we've got a BMI of 20 equals K times 118 divided by 64 squared. Now, you're probably going to use a calculator because this gets pretty big with the values, okay? That means that we can, if we have this, we can multiply both sides of the equation by the inverse of this one. And that'll make this entire thing here equal a 1, won't it? We end up with just k is equal to this math. That's 20 times 64 squared over 118. 20 times 64 squared divided by 118 ends up being 20 times 4,096. That's what 64 times 64 is, divided by 118. We multiply these two together, and we get 81,920 divided by 118. Use our calculator, and we end up with a long decimal, but we round it off to 694. So we're going to use 694 as the approximation for k. Now we can solve this 165-pound person that's 70 inches tall. And we plug those values in and use approximately 694. So we get 694 times 165 divided by 70 squared. Use our calculator again, and we multiply 694 by 165, and we get 114,510 
and 70 times 70 is 4,900. So we get this on our calculator, and we can just round it to 23. And actually, this isn't an equals, is it? This is an approximate. Because we were dealing with an approximate for k in the first place. So his BMI, or her BMI, is approximately 23. See? Using that calculator is going to help us go faster. So if you use 694 for k, write that down, and then put your weight on top and you, whatever your height is in inches, but remember you have to square it. So if you're uh, 5 feet tall, that's 60 inches. So if you're 5 foot 2, you're 62 inches, and so on. And then you'd have to do that to, times it to itself, okay? Like the 70 inches times 70 inches became 4,900, okay? So try this with your own weight. Use 694 as your approximation for K. Put your weight in. Square your height. Do the division in the math and see what your BMI is. If it's 25 or under, then you're healthy. Okay? It's a pretty neat way of uh, checking this out on your own. So we've only got one more video, 12.7C, and we start Chapter 13. And that's quadratic equation. It's the last chapter in the book. And of course, in this video's description, there's going to be a link to all the previous videos of Chapter 12 to help you out. Our next video is 12.7c. We're going to talk about word problems of joint variation, and then we'll start on our last chapter, okay? All right, I hope this was helpful, and I hope you have fun figuring out your BMI, and I'll see you next video. Bye!